Welcome, my friends, to Blood Super Monkey 2! This game is going to be amazing. I've been excited for it forever, and we finally get to check it out. Now, this is the beta, so it's not the finished version or anything like that, but this is basically what the game is going to be like. So I'm going to do a, you know, a quick playthrough for you guys, just showing you off uh, you know, what's going on. Again, I've never played this before, this, this new game. Of course, I've played the old Flash version, but this is going to be different. So, Monkey Lane, level 1, Weather the Storm, 0 Blops, 0 Bloons. Let's see what happens here, guys. So basically what you're doing here is you're controlling your super monkey. So yeah, the balloons, they can't harm you. The mystery balloons drop instantaneous balloon power-ups. And gold balloons drop allies who will aid you in battles. So that is awesome. So basically what you do... Oh, collect these. All right, so we've got blops. We can collect those guys to get weapons and upgrades. Powerful crates to get weapons and abilities. Bonus powers for unique weapons and perks. And we get allies who fly al alongside us and crush anything in their path. That's what I like to hear, guys. Um, so basically what you're doing is you, you use your, your finger and you can control the super monkey and make sure you pop all of the balloons. And then you collect all these red blobs over here, which again you can use to buy extra special upgrades. So um, right now it's starting off pretty easy. They're just, you know, giving us... Uh, keep in mind that the blobs, of course, you want to get most of the blobs, but it's not a necessity to get every single freaking blob or anything like that. So here we go, guys. You're going to find it in the, the biggest chunk of everything. So basically the main point of the game is to, again, pop as many balloons as you possibly can. Now, we're probably not going to get a gold on the first level, but what we're going to do is we're going to go back after we get more upgrades and get the gold later on. So you just got to keep going back and forth and getting all the gold medals and all even the platinum medals are the perfect medals or whatnot. So right now, ooh, ooh, there's the gold. Oh, we got the gold balloon. Oh, there's another gold balloon. Oh, they're too freaking fast, dude. Oh, my God. They're so fast. Why is it so fast? Get out of here, gold balloon. Dude, that thing's ridiculous. Catch me. What did I even get? I got the bronze medal. Oh, there it is. I got this guy, the bomber. So this guy is... Oh, my God. This guy is amazing. Make sure I grab all the blops while I'm at it as well. This guy's freaking killing literally everything in his path. They are telling the truth. But he's gone just as fast as he was here. Now we got a big, giant uh, group of balloons over here. Again, trying to get all the blops going. Uh, but there's just too many balloons for me to pop. Honestly, I think the best thing for me to do is just kind of just, just chill here. And just... Oh, there we go. What do we got? We got a wizard ally. Whoop, whoop. All right, so we're getting this guy sending out billions of balls all over the place, and we will end up taking them all down. All right. So we got a good amount of blobs. We already got two crates. We already got the the bronze medal, and we're working our way up. Or we already got the silver medal, I think. We're working our way up to gold. But it looks like we didn't get them all. So we completed the level. Got over 1,000 balloons popped. A ridiculous amount of blobs. And we've got uh, 152 blue blobs, which I don't even know what the heck those do. So that's kind of exciting. Let's continue on and see what we can do with these guys. I see you grab some powerful crates along the way, oh yes. Inside you'll find lots of unique weapons and boosts which will allow you, which will aid you in the battle against the balloons. Alright, so let's open them up. Let's see, what do we got here, guys? Um, oh, we just got a tap. Alright, <laughs> that makes sense. Alright, so first we got super shots. Oh, that's sweet. What else we got? We've got, um, Bloff Magnet. Ooh, that's really important, the Bloff Magnet. That makes sense, dude. we got to get that guy pretty quick. Excelente! You can equip these power-ups next time you go into battle. All right, so Dr. Monkey over here is telling us how to play this game. Oh, dear, it would appear that the balloon the balloonometer was correct. <laughs> the balloons are floating in at a remarkable pace. This is the perfect time to try out a new weapon I've been working on. Meet me in the lab. All right, so I guess this is the lab back here? Alright, so here's the, uh, the darts that we just unlocked, I think. Ah, there you are. You currently have two weapon slots equipped with the dart shooters. These are your left and your right, right weapons. Okay. I have a new weapon type which will attach to your core. Oh, well, that's fancy. This will add a third weapon slot to your arsenal, so that's really cool. So basically, this game is, is about, um... Obviously, like I said, killing all the balloons. But to kill all the balloons, you need to get upgrades to be better at killing all the balloons. So you just keep getting better and better and stronger, and you know you have a way better chance of killing all the balloons. Eventually, you're gonna pop like lead balloons out there. There's gonna be ceramic balloons, and then Moab class balloons and stuff like that. It's gonna be very, very difficult to pop all those guys without you know all these extra upgrades. Two core weapons to choose from: darts and range. All right. Oh, rangs, rangs, not range. So I think I'm gonna go for rangs for now. See what do we got? Or two orbital boomerangs that can't pop lead. What are the darts? Fires eight darts in a radius and can't pop lead as well. Okay. Um. 
I don't know. I guess I'll just go for the Dart Burst. I know when I played this a long time ago, the Dart Bursts were, like, really, really solid. Oh, so there's another upgrade that we can get. Weapons upgrade costs red blobs. Catch as many as you can while battling the balloons. All right. Um... So this is a faster faster firing thing with Bob, but we can't afford it just yet. We only got three thousand blobs right now. But at least we've got it looks like we've got three weapon slots up uh, unlocked right now, but eventually we're gonna get six weapon slots. And keep in mind, guys, I don't know everything that's going on. I'm guessing on a little bit of this stuff. I'm just starting this game off. So um we'll see guys, we'll see what, what happens here. So this is really cool. There's uh you can go back to the lab really quick by just clicking up here on the top left. You can go to um the achievements over here, which, you know, pop a bunch of balloons, beat Mission 2, Mission 3, Gold Seeker, pop your first golden balloon. Oh, I already got this. Awesome. So I already, already got a bunch of this stuff. Collect, collect, collect. Give me all the blops. Yes. We even go to the leaderboards. Who's on the leaderboard right now? <laughs> I think the leaderboards are not set up yet. Okay. Well, that's okay. That makes sense. And the experiment. So that, what is this? Need extra blops. All right. Okay, so now there's an experiment in process that will give me red blobs in four hours. That's kind of cool that you can just like click something and it'll just eventually give you red blobs. Dr. Monkey, thank you very much for giving me those red blobs. Eventually, when I get them. Alright, so we're going to go back to the lab. I'm going to upgrade my, my core darts even further. So I'm going to give them faster firing speed with 5,000 blobs to make me even stronger. Now we got a green band uh, over my head. Oh yeah! All right, so can we upgrade anything else over here? Well, you know, again, we can go darts or rangs right now. Um, I can get faster firing on these guys for 3,500. I think what I might end up doing is I might end up getting one of them up to rangs and one of them up to, uh, or one of them just like high-level darts and just see how it ends up going. So let's hop in here to level two. Again, 0% blobs, 0% balloons, weather the storm, level two. Okay, let's get going here, guys. So, um... Tap and hold power-ups for description. Alright. I will use the magnet. So what it does is it only helps you out for one level, it looks like. It's going to be, you know, something you use just this level, not, you know, forever. I thought it was something you could buy and just have it forever. I mean, it's kind of nice to just check it out and see how, like, uh, how well it works, but um, maybe waiting to, like, a, you know, a harder level might be more important. Your new dart core is a close range weapon. So we only need 400 pops to get a bronze. Fly close to the balloons to take advantage of it while your left and right weapons pop at longer range. Makes sense. Alright. Um, so there we go, guys. Getting the look at the blop magnitude. Whoop, whoop. Alright, so we got... Oh, there's balloons coming in from all over the place. Yeah. <laughs> I think what I need to do is I need to fly into them. So believe it or not, this is actually kind of difficult on an iPad. You know what? I've, I've got an iPad Pro that I'm playing on, and I feel like uh, my finger has to go, like, so far. Oh, my God! Look at them all! Get all these red balloons. Take care of them. They go away so quickly. It's so upsetting. Blop, 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 blop. Oh, red balloons, blue balloons. Oh, my God. I'm definitely not going to be winning this one, guys. Oh, green balloons, too. Yeah, kill them fast. There's so many balloons, they're so hard. How are we supposed to get these all? That's ridiculous. I remember, you know, once you go later on in the game, you're going to get some really sweet upgrades that allow you to actually kill a lot more of this stuff. Blop doubler. Oh, yeah, baby. And we got a crate. Double that shiznit right on up. All right, here's a big chunk of balloons. Again, what I'm doing is I'm flying into these uh, because I want to, uh, you know, make sure that... Oh, gold balloon, gold balloon. Whoop. Oh, come on, gold balloon. Come on, gold balloon. Come on, give me the gold balloon. I think you have to, like, shoot it quite a bit of times. That's why it doesn't just pop it for one hit. Kind of makes sense. God darn this gold balloon, dude. It's destroying me over here. This thing's ridiculous! Oh, my goodness gracious, you stupid gold balloon. Oh, there we go. We got him. The wizard. Right when this green giant chunk comes out. And we even get glue or something going on? Looks like all the balloons got glued somehow. But we're killing everything with our blop magnet, with craziness going on. We already got 5,000 blops, but still didn't even get gold on this map, I don't think. Oh, God, what the heck is this thing? All right. There's a lot of balloons in that chunk right there, guys. A lot of balloons. All right. Um, 
I like I said, it's really tough. This is, this game is a lot tougher than I thought it was going to be. I'm used to using a mouse, you know what I mean? Oh, so we only got silver on that map too. That kind of sucks. But we got a lot of blobs. We can get power-ups, and eventually we'll get stronger and we'll be able to do it. So we, oh, no, we got silver. Okay. Yes, yeah, so we got silver, didn't get gold. Got 552 blue blobs and a bunch of red blobs. All right. Good enough for me. Let's go see what we can power up. Okay, come on. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Turbo boost. I like it. And a... Ooh, two stars. A red hot aura. So I'm guessing that's some sort of, like, you know, extra core upgrade. Just makes you, like, sort of kill balloons like that are close to you. So we get more achievements. Let's go see how many blobs we're going to get for doing more achievements. Collect blobs. We get more blobs for collecting blobs. I like it. Well, with a core weapon then a left right, we did that. Powering up, we did that. Alright, so we still got a lot more to go. You know, obviously they're gonna get crazy if you go all the way down here, dude. There's gonna get all there's gonna be like some really, really crazy ones, I'm guessing. Not as many as I thought though. Oh, these are daily missions. Oh, there's so many things to do every single day. Oh my god. So just looking at the map here, guys. Um, just rolling around, we got 13, 14, 15, 18, 20. Oh my god. How many levels are there? Okay, so it looks like level 25 has a Moab on it. It might be the first Moab. I don't know if we're gonna be able to pop it. We got a frozen monkey up here. This is just fun looking at the map. Oh god, what the heck was that? Definitely some sort of lead balloon monster on level 20. Oh my goodness. It looks kind of like an onyx, to be honest. <laughs> Doesn't it? it? looks like a steel onyx. Or a steelix, I guess. Yeah, that's right. I forgot he existed. So there's a bird over here we're probably gonna have to fight. Um, I don't know what the sentry gun is, but that's, that guy's just chilling there. There's another, like laboratory thing my bob over here some clouds on level five i wonder what we're gonna have to do here guys so um this is really exciting i'm actually really excited to play this game let me know if you guys are excited as well because you know what it's coming out pretty soon i can't guarantee a date but it is coming out very soon for you guys and uh uh we can all have fun together playing blue and super monkey so let's let's go back to the lab really quick um see what do we want to do I think I'm going to try boomerangs for my left arm. Now let's do it for the right arm. I don't know why, I just like to switch off my right arm. So we're going to do rings, we're going to buy the rings. Still can't pop lead, that's okay. 1200 bucks, this guy is... Increase the firing speed, sure, why not? And then increase the pierce for 9k. Alright, so instead what we're going to do is we're going to get faster fire rate for our darts. Ooh, and then we can fire double darts. Oh, that's kind of cool. What about the core? Fire 16 darts instead of 8, so that doubles it again. So these blobs are going to be kind of hard to come by. Um, at least so far. I mean, like, we only get to upgrade, like, one thing per level, and eventually I think it's going to get a lot harder than that. So let's start off with level 3, guys. Monkey Lane again. You guys know Monkey Lane is the way to start off this game, right? Oh, yeah. So, you know what? I'm going to use the Red Hot Aura. Why not? Seems like we're getting two chests every single time, so let's use the power-ups. Let's help ourselves out. 600 balloons to get the bronze medal. One balloon, two balloon, three balloon, four. <laughs> no blop magnet, though, this time. But check out the boomerangs. So I thought the boomerangs were going to do some sort of, um, uh, like, curly-whirly boomerang thing, but I guess not. So we weakened the balloons, I guess? I, I don't know. I think that's a good thing. Um... See, oh, there we go. Big chunks of balloons com coming all over the place. Green balloons being fast. Red balloons being fast, too. Could try to collect the blobs. The blobs, I think, are the most important thing. Like, of course, popping balloons is, is an important thing, too. But if you pop all, if you uh, get all the blobs, you can upgrade yourself to be stronger in the future. And I think that's pretty important. There we go. We've got the wizard again. Seems like the wizard is the most common um, special guy for us to use. All right, so the blobs always come down. So, like, staying near the bottom is kind of kind of a good thing. So, whoa, we got bronze already. Why did the wizard have to disappear right here? Oh, there's another crate. Ah! Get as many balloons as possible, as many blobs as possible. That was ridiculous. There we go. Get right in the middle of this nice big chunk of crazy balloons right here. And again, it's like usual, guys. The balloons go from higher higher tier balloons to lower tier balloons. So, the, the yellows will pop into greens, the green and the greens into blues, the blues into reds, and the reds into blobs. And, of course, anything higher than that, like blacks and, and, and whites and stuff like that, turn into pinks. But I don't think they turn into two pinks. I think they just turn into one pink. This kind of makes sense. Um, I think the same thing with ceramics and all that stuff. 
I think the ceramics will turn into one rainbow. So I'm doing the best that I can, but man, there's blooms literally everywhere. Like, oh man, we just, I don't even know what we did. We got to vaporize somehow. Vaporization! All right, so we got these extra cores plus the red hot aura, which is, you know, obviously as soon as we get close to the blooms, it's just they're dead. So the one thing I'm noticing is that my hand actually gets in the way. Uh, again, my, my, oh, that was the end of the level. My hand actually gets in the way, so, you know, when I'm playing this game, I'm trying to, like, look at all the balloons and all over the map, but when I'm, like, going to the top left of the screen, because I'm playing right-handed, my hand goes on the screen and I can't see all the balloons. And that's okay, that's just something to note about the game. We got 2,800 pops, you know, we're going from, like, 1,000 pops to, like, almost 2,000 to almost 3,000 pops by level 3. Um, got a ton of blue blobs, and, of course, crazy amounts of red blobs. So let's continue on. Oh, we got two more chests again, so I think what we should do is use more of these chests. Um, you know, use two per, per level or something like that. Though, again, like I said, it might be nice to just save these up and use them on really, really, really hard levels. Looks like there's a storm ahead. Gray clouds have gathered. This can mean only one thing. <gasps> lead balloons! Conventional weapons won't pierce lead! Meet me in the lab. Alright, let's go to the lab. I've been working on some new technology. You now have access to three additional weapon categories. <gasps> really? Oh, snap! Well, that is awesome. I was thinking that there was going to be way less action going on here. I was thinking, oh, only darts and boomerangs. That's a little bit sad. You know, maybe we'll get more stuff later on. But bam! Right here, guys. Bombs, energy, rings, magic, and epics. However, don't forget... Okay, wait. I didn't even read. However, don't forget about the darts and boomerangs. Both have a lot of popping power. Anyway, I'll let you figure out the best weapon combinations for taking out the balloons. All right, Dr. Monkey. Thanks for no help at all. Come on, Dr. Monkey. All right, so when it was epics, what? 335,000 red blops. Spiky Chaos is 340,000 blops. And the Dart Ace is 335,000. So yeah, I mean, that's on the same side. So basically, you're noticing that the left and right arm are going to be the same thing. Uh, you just get to choose what you want. You can mix it up a little bit. Like, you can have bombs in one arm, and you can have magic in the other, or you can have rings in one arm and darts in the other. You can mix it up however you feel like it. And then the core seems to be, uh, you know, you just kind of got to pick what you want to do. You can go magic core, ring core, energy core, bomb core, or dart core. So that, that is interesting. Flying pineapples can't pop black or zebra. Oh, black or zebra. Okay, I was kind of confused. I was like, oh, lead, lead balloons, though. What? How are we going to pop these guys? So it seems like the energy might be the best thing to go for. It's $8,000. Powerful forward firing beam. Can't pop glass, though. So I totally forgot about glass balloons. Glass balloons did exist in Balloon Super Monkey 1. Um, I wonder if they put any new balloons in Balloon Super Monkey. That's something we really got to check out and see if it's uh, going to change the game at all. So anyways, I'm going to actually... Uh, end this video with me buying the energy i'm gonna buy this guy the pulse laser eight thousand dollars to get that bad boy can pop lead balloons but can't pop glass balloons i think forward firing beam increase fire rate larger beam increase damage two energy beams five energy beams solid doom increase energy uh increased fire rate and increased damage think about this goat though guys the uh the epics I don't know if you have to unlock them or something, or if they're just... Yeah, I think you have to unlock them somehow, because uh, they're not unlocked yet. You can't just buy them. Even if you had the blobs right now, you couldn't unlock them. So you have to do something to unlock these epics. And uh, they're ridiculously expensive. I mean, think about it. We're going to spend like a million blobs just to get like one arm uh, all the way up to the highest tier. And then the core, the exact same thing. You're, you know, you're spending like a, over a million just for the last two upgrades over here. Holy crap. It's like 3 million blobs to get these guys. It's going to be ridiculous when we finally get there. So anyways, let me know what you guys think about Balloon Super Monkey. Let me know if you guys are excited for Balloon Super Monkey. I'm going to have a lot of videos of Balloon Super Monkey coming out in the next few days. Um, hopefully we can make it to uh, you know the end of level 25 here and have some fun with it. I don't know if there's going to be some sort of... Um, you know, I, I believe because there's another path, there's going to be some sort of second level. Like, this is just Monkey Lane. There's 25 levels on Monkey Lane. Then there's going to be, like, another 25 levels on this next one, another 25 levels after that. Blah, 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 blah. How far does it go? That's the real question, guys. That is what we need to figure out. Thanks so much for watching. It was a super duper delicious day.